We're losing the pumpkin shape here, so I'll go ahead and I'll change the noise texture up to one. Make it a bit less thick, maybe not one's too much, maybe two. We'll change the detail to 10 and the detail for the wave texture as well. We'll make that 10. So we got a little bit more detail in there. Looking much better now. A little bit of a uh, messed up looking pumpkin, which is really what I'm liking. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look at uh, what we have here so far. I want to go ahead and do one more thing, I think. We'll add in to the factor up there at the top. We'll add in a Fresnel right, right up there into that mix shader. You can see how that makes that pumpkin pop a lot more, which looks pretty sweet. We have that little bit of a shine right there on his, uh, on his, on his, on his forehead, I suppose we would call it, right? We can change the distortion up a little bit, just to get a little bit of random value. We can change the detail scale to like two, I suppose. Um, and that looks pretty good. I like that scar going through his forehead. That looks really pretty sweet. I like that a lot. All right, so that looks like it's gonna be it for the pumpkin. I wanna go ahead and do a little bit to the, the stem for a second here. I'll go ahead and, we won't do much to this bad boy. We'll just go ahead and add in a little bit of, uh, a little bit of texture. And we'll go ahead and add in a noise texture and plug that into displacement. I wanna add in a couple of these. So we'll go ahead and add converter, math, and we'll change the math to multiply. We'll, play, we'll change the add to multiply. And then I'll go ahead and add in one more texture. This will be a Musgrave texture because I love the Musgrave node. And we will go ahead and do something like that. And you can see we have a little bit of niceness going on. And you, know, you know what? Instead of, instead of the Musgrave, we will do... Uh, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I get away with doing the wave? I think we might be able to get away with doing the wave. Um, yeah, maybe, perhaps. We'll change the scale down. So that's, that's too much. We'll do two. And then we'll do one. We'll do one. And then we'll change the distortion up a little bit so we can get a little bit more of that wave going in there. Um, yeah, 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 I like that. All right, that looks pretty sweet. Maybe we'll change the scale to two instead of one. And then we can just, like, crank up the distortion so it doesn't look like it's straight at all. Um, maybe that looks looking pretty good. I want to change the detail to five as well. Um, just a bit of testing. Maybe that's a bit too much. Yeah, we'll change the scale back down. Change the scale back down to one. And that looks pretty good the way it is right there. I like that a lot. We'll change the noise, the detail of the noise texture to five, and we'll change the scale to three. The distortion, we'll bump that up to like ten, um, so nothing's all straightforward and stuff. I want it to be as messed up as possible, um, which looks pretty sweet. And that's looking pretty good, if I do say so. I do think I want to do one more thing. We'll go ahead and add in a mix shader. This mix shader will be uh, with a diffused and a glossy, just like the pumpkin was. And then for the glossy, we'll change the, the white color to a, once again, a darker brown, something like that to get a bit more of like a hazily kind of feel in there with that. And I'll go ahead and add in a texture. This will be Musgrave into the roughness of the glossy like we did before, or like I was trying to do before rather. And we'll change the scale to 10, the detail to 10 as well, and uh, the dimension to nah, almost five. Yeah, sure, that's pretty good. Um, now this is making it a bit too shiny, so what I want to do, I think, is we will uh, plug the factor into the mix right there, and plug the factor into the, the factor of the mix, and that looks pretty good. It looks like it's kind of withered, and maybe some pieces of it are chipping off, which looks pretty nice. I want to go ahead and change that color because it's a little bit too saturated. We'll go ahead and do something like that instead, darken it. Yeah, that looks much better. All right, so that is looking pretty sweet. We can do the same thing with the candles as well. I don't think I'm going to do that, but we can do the same thing with the candles if you would like to. We can we can do a little bit of displacement on the candles so they don't look exactly 100% straightforward, but I'm gonna leave the candles as they are because I think I like them the way they are. You can go ahead and close that, and this is going to be similar to our final render. I do wanna change the, uh, look at that in, 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 in material mode, it looks really bad. Um, but we'll go ahead and change the color of the ground to like a darker gray so nothing is not too distracting. Um, and that looks pretty, uh, where, where is it? Uh, there it is. That looks pretty sweet. Like I mentioned before, we can just go ahead and get with, get, get, get away with getting rid of that point lamp because that looks really sweet. But I will go ahead and for the sake of the tutorial so you guys can see the pumpkin that we've actually created, I'll go ahead and I'll actually duplicate that point lamp a couple of times. We'll go back to material mode. Uh, no, we'll go back to rendered mode. And I'll shift D, duplicate that point lamp put one off to the side maybe to the back I like that looking really sweet I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween special tutorial uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial 
Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next time. I love, uh, I love making, I loved making this pumpkin. That was really fun. Happy Halloween to all you Halloween guys and gals out there. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye-bye.